Hi, my name is Lev. I'm a researcher at Microsoft Research in Cambridge, UK. Today I'll be presenting our position paper on the metacognitive demands and opportunities of generative AI. This was written together with Victor, Asta, Ava, Advet, Abigail, and Sean. Generative AI has tremendous potential to transform personal and professional work across many domains. As described by Schellert and colleagues, this potential of generative AI stems from models' flexibility in their input and output space, models' generality in their applicability across many tasks, and models' originality in their ability to generate novel content. However, as we explore throughout our paper, these same features, alongside others, pose challenges for usability and workflows, acting like double-edged swords. Indeed, as we review in our paper, user studies of generative AI systems show that many usability challenges remain. These range from crafting the right prompts, to evaluating generated outputs, and optimizing workflows for generative AI. In our paper, we propose that metacognition, thinking about thinking, offers a valuable lens to understand and design for these usability challenges. We draw on psychology and cognitive science research, together with AI user studies, to make the case and offer research and design directions. Metacognition includes both metacognitive information and metacognitive abilities. Metacognitive information includes knowledge of our abilities, strategies, and beliefs. Metacognitive experiences include more implicit aspects like a feeling of familiarity or the speed of memory retrieval. Metacognitive abilities include monitoring and control of our cognition. Monitoring includes things like self-awareness, our ability to be aware of our own cognition, and confidence, our internal estimate of our knowledge or abilities, and the capacity to adjust this confidence as new information comes in. Control includes task decomposition, our ability to break down a cognitive task into subtasks, and flexibility, our ability to recognize when a cognitive strategy isn't working and adjust it accordingly. All these aspects of metacognition interact and together influence cognition during specific tasks. To summarize what we mean by the metacognitive demands of generative AI, we can walk through a simple example workflow. Say you've decided to use an LLM to help you draft an email. First, you have to formulate a prompt, so you might ask yourself, what am I trying to convey with this email? Perhaps I need to summarize X, clarify Y, and conclude Z, all in the correct tone. Then, you get an output that you need to make sense of, and you might ask yourself, well, how confident am I that I can actually do this? In the case of an email, it's pretty straightforward, but what about if you're working with a programming language that you're less familiar with? Then, you might need to iterate on your prompt. So you might ask yourself, well, how confident am I that I can actually craft the correct prompt? How do I make sense of a poor output? And finally, if we zoom out a bit, there are broader questions around one's automation strategy, whether, when, and how to apply AI in one's workflows in the first place. You might ask yourself, is trying AI worth my time versus completing a task manually? And how confident am I that I can complete a task manually or learn to work with AI effectively to do so? And if I've decided to integrate AI into my workflow, how do I best do so? What we're proposing in our paper is that all these questions really reflect metacognitive demands that generative AI systems impose on users as they interact with them. So, at the prompt formulation stage, this involves self-awareness of task goals, knowing exactly what you want to achieve, breaking that down into subtasks, and then verbalizing all of that explicitly in a set of prompts. At the output evaluation stage, it involves well-adjusted confidence in your ability to evaluate that output. That means disentangling your confidence in the domain you're working in for the system's performance in that task or domain. At the prompt iteration stage, it involves well-adjusted confidence in your prompting ability. This is about disentangling your ability to craft an effective prompt for the system's performance. And metacognitive flexibility to recognize when a prompting strategy isn't working and adapt it accordingly. At the automation strategy level, this is about self-awareness of the applicability and impact of generative AI on your workflows, and well-adjusted confidence in your ability to complete a task manually or learn AI effectively to help you do that. Finally, it requires metacognitive flexibility to adapt your workflows when generative AI is not effectively supporting them. In addition to reviewing user studies of generative AI systems from a metacognitive perspective, we provide a set of research questions and potential measures of metacognition to probe these metacognitive demands further. For example, what is the role of self-awareness in prompt formulation across different interaction modes, or the role of self-confidence in understanding one's workflows with generative AI? Beyond understanding these usability challenges, we know from psychology research that metacognition is both measurable and teachable. Indeed, we provide in our paper a range of example measures of metacognition. We also know from meta-analyses of metacognition intervention studies that metacognitive abilities are teachable with demonstrated impact in the short and long term. So, we can also think about how to use a metacognitive perspective to address the usability challenges of generative AI. We propose two directions for addressing these demands. 
We can improve users' metacognition, for example, by focusing on augmenting users' planning, self-evaluation, and self-management during AI workflows. We can also reduce the demands on users' metacognition, for example, by focusing on explainability and the customizability of these systems. How can we support people in planning for complex tasks with generative AI? Imagine you've asked the system to help you draft an email. A supportive system can break down the tasks for you, suggesting specific types of content and proactively asking you about it. It could also prompt you about the tone or length of such an email. In this way, it would help you with task decomposition and encourage self-awareness of specific task aspects. Systems could also help people reflect on their cognition and approach to tasks. Imagine you've asked the system to help you draft a project proposal. A supportive system would know that you previously spent a lot of time editing such output and could help you craft a more detailed and helpful prompt. Similar self-evaluative prompts for users can support output evaluation or other aspects of workflows. Similarly, supportive systems can help people manage their overall workflows in terms of timing and setting. Systems could consider users' broader workflow context, helping them manage their efforts and tailoring their support based on users' self-reported confidence or expertise. Of course, this can be combined with self-evaluative prompts that proactively probe users about their work, again, tailored to their confidence or expertise. Alongside supporting users' metacognition, we can also reduce the metacognitive demand that these systems impose on users. Explainability of generative AI system performance can reduce this demand by helping to offload information from people's minds and onto the system interface, supporting their self-awareness and adjustment of confidence. For example, this prototype by Lou Sarker and colleagues shows how a system that solves spreadsheet tasks can break down its approach into understandable steps for the user, helping them evaluate the output in a more granular way and thereby adjust their confidence in the domain and the system's performance as needed. Approaches to explanation can also be augmented with self-evaluative prompts that encourage users to reflect on their understanding and tailor explanations accordingly. Customizability of generative AI systems is another important factor in reducing the demands on metacognition. We highlight that there's a key tension here, in that more customizability can support expert users' metacognition. For example, additional control can help these users disentangle their self-confidence in a task domain from the system's performance. However, for novices, this can be overwhelming and have the opposite effect, increasing the demand on their metacognition. These studies by Dang and colleagues and McNeil and colleagues and others show that customizability is not a straightforward decision and may need to be tailored for users depending on their confidence and expertise. Finally, it's important to distinguish between cognitive load, the total mental effort required for a task, and metacognitive demand, the monitoring and control required for a task, which contributes to cognitive load alongside many other aspects. The relationship between the two aspects is an active research area. It's possible that approaches to address metacognitive demands of generative AI may paradoxically increase in cognitive load due to the need to process more information. However, we hypothesize that ultimately, supporting users' metacognition should result in a net reduction in cognitive load. A key consideration may be training effects over time. Interventions around metacognition can be viewed like a set of training wheels, which are gradually and adaptively removed as users effectively learn metacognitive strategies for working with generative AI. Finally, perhaps controversially, we suggest that some aspects of metacognitive prompting and intervention may function like useful seams, justified in helping users more consciously reflect on their interactions. In our paper, we also provide a range of research questions and potential directions for addressing the metacognitive demands of generative AI. For example, how do metacognitive interventions affect cognitive load over time, as users learn to interact with generative AI systems, and how should interventions optimally adapt or fade out? In sum, we propose that metacognition offers a powerful lens to measure and evaluate the usability challenges of generative AI. And it can also offer directions for designing generative AI systems that not only improve usability, but actually augment human agency and workflows. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.